welcome to my channel like minded this is a pick a card reading yes or no so if you need to pause this video you can so you can see which group resonates with you so you can pick based off the group or you can pick based off of the ruin stone so group one two and three please keep in mind this is a general reading so all of the messages may or may not resonate if you would like to schedule a reading that is more personal all of my contact information is listed below so let's go ahead and begin group number one so for your ruin stone you're starting out with luck so very nice so let's see what the messages have to say the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them very beautiful so i feel that you guys have something big coming in for you it could be love it could be some type of financial gain but the universe has big plans for you guys and for your light-minded oracle card you have quiet your mind i feel like quiet your mind is very important you guys are going to find a lot of answers from within also if you would like to purchase my light-minded oracle deck the link is below as well conclusions are within reach so i feel like with this card with this energy you guys are going to be reaching some type of milestone reaching some type of successful completions i'm getting body hits right now for some of you whatever this is this could have been like a long time coming you're wrapping up something that you may have been dealing with for a while so we have the nine of swords we have the temperance card and we have the eight of wands so with the Nine of Swords showing up here, I feel that there is this energy for some of you of worry, stress, doubt. You know, you could really be in your head about something. However, this resonates with you. You're in your head about something. This could be about, you know, your future plans. This could be about a problem or a challenge that you're um, experiencing and you're looking for solutions and answers and that's where quiet your mind is coming in. Spirit, can you clarify the Nine of Swords? Yeah, so whatever you're in your head about, you know, this may be very difficult with the Strength card coming in here. This is really about tapping into your inner strength. This is having faith that everything is going to work out in your highest good. And, you know, for some of you right now in the present, it may not make sense you know, the situation that you're experiencing. But Spirit is saying that the universe has really big plans for you. It's really important for you to claim your dreams and your desires that you want to bring into your life. I feel that the more that you really connect with your mindset um, and really, you know, affirm the positive, you know, um, actions that you want to come into your life, it's going to bring you into more of an energy of balance and peace. Take you away from that energy of overthinking or overstressing yeah look at that with temperance with really coming into this energy of uh the ace of cups this is about filling up your cup this is about self-love i feel like for a lot of you guys you really need to partake in self-care you need to fill up your cup you need to focus on you you need to focus on connecting with your inner world that is very important in order to move forward, in order to move forward into success and victory. So guys, <laughs> get to meditating because there are some answers within that can only come from within if you quiet your mind. Moving into the Eight of Wands, guys, you're going to have messages coming back and forth, back and forth. This also speaks about the energy picking up as well. With the Eight of Wands, this is typically pointing to good news coming in. Spirit just said some type of big break. And you have the emperor guys i feel like with these messages coming in you're going to feel in control you're going to feel empowered yeah spirit just said you're going to feel that you're taking your power back at the bottom of the deck we have victory in some endeavor yes you have victory and you have luck right here so very beautiful guys spirit what additional messages happiness i love it you guys are definitely moving into lighter times You have grasshoppers, situation imbalance that requires careful handling. So 
you know, just make sure you're really thinking things through. And that's where quiet your mind is going to come through. Don't make any type of rush decisions, like um, decisions off of impulse. You have vines. Seek out information that will help you. For some of you, seeking out this information may, you know, be doing your Googles, looking online, researching. For a lot of you, I feel like a lot of this information that you're seeking is going to be within meditating, connecting with your higher self, potentially receiving messages through your dreams as well. You have marriage. So you guys could have some type of engagement, some type of marriage come up. Um, this is also about making something official, signing on a dotted line, signing a lease, signing a contract as well. So this could be one of the big plans for some of you out there. At the bottom of the deck, we have March. So for some of you, March may be significant as well. So for your pick a card reading, yes or no, group number one, this is definitely a yes. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself, you know, mind, body, and spirit, because you are definitely going to be moving into a period of more self-love and, and really filling up your cup. So very beautiful reading, guys. Please comment below and let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance. And until next time. Group number two, let's see what messages Spirit has for you guys. Pick a card reading, yes or no. So starting off with your Ruin Stone, this is the first time I picked this one. Um, this one is blank. This one stands for destiny. Okay. So let's see what messages Spirit has. As soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power towards what I want. Ooh, very beautiful. So I feel like what this energy Spirit is saying you know, choose to look at the light. You know, if you're dealing with something that is very challenging, you know, try to look at the good in the situation. Maybe look at something from a different perspective. So this is the Light-Minded Oracle card. Um, if you would like to purchase my own personal Oracle deck, the link is below. All right, so we have Cherish Your Loved Ones. Okay. Make sure your loved ones know how you feel, right? Make sure that they know that you love them and, you know, uh, share those kind words with them. All right, we have adjustments are required. So I'm getting a five energy here. So some type of changes or some type of adjustments need to be made. And I feel like you already know what those adjustments need to be. We have the king of coins. We have the will of fortune. And we have the Five of Swords. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. I feel like for some of you guys, you are ready to take action. You're ready to move forward. But I feel like there's certain things that need to be adjusted before moving forward. Um, there's some type of internal work for some of you that need to be done with these with this energy of the dark and the light, really looking at the light um, in the dark corners. So with the king of coins here, this could be someone in your life or this could be you. I feel like with this energy, I feel like you're trying to move towards some type of goal. You're looking for more stability. You're looking for more of a grounded energy. For some of you, you're looking for ways to increase your finances as well. For some of you, you could be coming up with some type of plan when it comes to your finances, for that growth, for that expansion. Yeah, really looking to take control um, of your finances, of your emotional security. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is about divine timing. This is about your luck turning in your favor. So with divine timing, is spirit time and not your time. So sometimes it takes a little bit of patience. We have the Queen of Cups. So I feel that, you know, while you are in this period of waiting for the universe to send in this divine timing, whatever this event is, I really feel like 
Spirit is really calling for you to take care of yourself, really tend to your emotional needs. You know, make sure that you're good. Make sure you're filling up your cup. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, you know, everything, mind, body, and spiritual. Um, make sure you're showing love and compassion to those around you. But I really feel like there is this need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Next, we have the Five of Swords. There is this energy of conflict. You may feel like you're in a battle with a person or um, people around you. This conflict could be internal or it could be external. It could be other parties involved. With the Five of Swords, Spirit is saying that you are going to be victorious in this battle. The Spirit is saying at what cost, right? So make sure you're holding your integrity. Make sure you're handling stuff with grace. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to burn any bridges. If you are dealing with a uh, conflict with other people, if you are dealing with any type of low vibrational energy or any energy that, that doesn't serve you, it's really important for you to um, ground yourself, quiet your mind, and don't try to lower your standards. You have the page of coins. You guys are going to have some messages come in. These messages are going to be financial or valuable in nature. It could be some really good advice, something for a creative project or something, or maybe potentially a money-making idea. So very beautiful. Spirit, what additional messages? You have teardrops, great personal sorrow. So for some of you, you know, you may be dealing with a difficult time right now. And I really feel like with the Queen of Cups, it's really important for you to take care of yourself and your emotions um, until, you know, <laughs> Spirit said, until the coin flips. So until this divine timing comes in place. Spirit is saying, get back to the basics. Cobweb. Spirit is saying that you are protected from negative energy. You know, if you have any people that are against you, that are talking against you, working against you, Spirit is saying do not worry about them, that you are protected. Ink pot problems to be resolved. And you have needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Very beautiful. So with the ruined stone showing up here of destiny, I feel that there are going to be very faded moments coming up in your life um, and there's some divine timing at play. So the pick a card yes or no reading for group number two, um, it is going to be a no or not at this time. I feel that there are adjustments that are required. I feel that there is some work that needs to be done as far as looking at the light. Um, looking at things from a very objective standpoint, maybe looking at the big picture. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different for all of you. So please take the messages as they resonate. Leave the messages behind that don't fit for someone else. So please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance. And until next time. Welcome, group number three. So for your rune stone, you have future. So let's see what other messages spirit has. The universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionately towards the highest good. I love that right there. Very beautiful. And this is a card from my own personal light-minded oracle deck. If you would like to purchase this deck, the link is listed below this was meant to be okay so i'm getting some very faded energy here a fiery climax approaches very nice so spirit is showing me like fireworks right now and explosions but it's more of like an excitement so we have the high priestess we have the nine of wands and we have the nine of cups so you may want to look up the number 99, uh, angel number. You may find additional messages there that resonate with you. So we're starting off with the High Priestess. This is really about tapping into your intuition. There may be things behind the veil that you're not aware of, like answers that are not available to you. So because that veil is there, you really have to make sure you're really listening to your intuition, going with your gut feeling. 
you have the six of swords guys things are going to be improving things are going to be getting better you're going to be moving forward you know really going from choppy waters to calmer waters i feel like for some of you guys you may be tired you may be exhausted with the nine of wands here make sure you're taking care of yourself you're taking breaks you know but with the nine of wands this is about staying persistent but in the meantime just make sure you're not draining yourself too much you have the emperor. I feel like you're really tapping into this energy, really wanting to take control of your life, really wanting to move forward. You guys have a lot of drive right now. Really trying to reach some type of completion, reach some type of successful milestone. And with this fiery climax approaching, I feel like you guys are soon going to be completing something in your life. So all of these messages resonate different. So you will have to apply it to your life as you see fit. Next, we have the Nine of Cups. This is about a wish being granted, a wish being fulfilled, feeling very, feeling very content, feeling very satisfied. Spirit, can you clarify the Nine of Cups? You have the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are going to be receiving some type of generosity. This could be some type of financial gain, some type of good advice. For others of you, if you're focused on love, a partnership, you could receive some type of compromise between you and a partnership. That could really bring your union even closer. You have Candle. You will be shown the way. Very beautiful. I feel like you guys are going to be receiving downloads and signs from your spiritual team so that you know that you're on the right path. Yes, wishbone, a wish will be granted. Very nice. We have ant, work, achievement, and success. So you guys are going to be moving into success. You have love. Yeah, I feel like for some of you guys are focused on love. You have needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. Very nice. And we have career. So for some of you, you may be focused on career. And this is how this uh, milestone applies to you. And we have successfully overcoming a problem with bridge. Very nice. So guys, for this pick a card, yes or no reading. Group number three, you have a yes for sure. Definitely see a lot of blessings and abundance coming into your world. Definitely see a lot of blessing and abundance coming into your world. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys love and abundance. And until next time.